Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host Ace, and today's game is a little overlooked, but nevertheless a true classic that was ahead of its time, specifically Battle Stations Pacific. First released in 2009 for Xbox 360 and PC as the sequel to Battle Stations Midway, it can be safely said that Battle Stations Pacific, along with its predecessor, ultimately predicted the style of gameplay that would be seen in titles such as World of Warships, meaning that this game was truly ahead of its time, and being the blast to play that it is is most certainly worth checking out as well, which is why it is so unfortunate that the game may not exactly run right out of the box. But that is why we are of course here today. Now before we start off, I should mention that this fix is for the Steam version specifically, although it will most likely work for physical copies as well. And in addition, I should mention that the PC that I am testing this fix on is a Windows 10 64-bit with a GTX 980 Ti, 48GB of DDR4 RAM, and an i7-6700K processor. And with this all covered, let's dive in. So to start off, the big issue with Battle Station Pacific is that it has been cursed with the mark of Satan. And thus you have two choices, either exercise this mark away or make a deal with the devil himself. Now for the option of exorcism, which is the one I recommend, all you have to do is download this particular fix online and drop it straight into the game's directory, and you are done. Granted, the fix provided does mention something about a binaries folder that does not exist in the Steam version, however in the Steam version all you have to do once again is drop it straight into the game directory itself. Now granted, this particular fix does take away the ability to play this game online outside of LAN, however we're talking about a game from 2009 that you have to fix in order to play in the first place. That said, if you actually want to make a deal with the devil and use games for Windows Live in order to utilize the online capabilities of this game, you'll instead want to download this particular installer, extract it, and then right click on gfwlivesetup.exe and select properties. From there go to the compatibility tab and set it as shown here. Once this is done, install and once again you are done. That said, I have heard reports that some people are having issues with the game not saving their progress in the single player campaigns. And if this happens to you, then I would suggest potentially exercising games for Windows live alternatively, as that will allow you to save your progress. But now that we've talked about how to get the game running, let's talk about DLC. The ability to download the DLC has pretty much evaporated, at least officially anyways. So allow me to offer you a few alternatives that will satiate your DLC fix. The Battle Stations Pacific DLC Pack Offline mode is exactly what it says on the tin and will restore the DLC to your game, although it is a single player only option. Alternatively, the BS Mod HQ does in fact come equipped with the DLC and does offer multiplayer support. However, it also makes a number of changes to the game, so this is a mod and not the vanilla experience. That said, it also seems to be one of the default ways to play the game these days, thanks to most other mods outright requiring this one. But regardless, all I have to say now is congratulations, because if you have done everything correctly, then your copy of Battle Stations Pacific will now be playable, and you also even have access once again to the DLC. I hope those of you who have been having trouble find this guide to be most helpful, and I also hope to upload another episode of Retro Game Repairman soon. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.